Hello everyone and welcome to another video on JavaScript programming. My name is Kaushal and today I will take you through control statements in JavaScript. I will give you a brief introduction about how control statements work in JavaScript. So without any further delay, let's get started. This video will be a small one because we will discuss each of these control statements in detail in separate videos. So, the term control statements is pretty self-explanatory and straightforward, right? We came across JavaScript statements in previous videos. JavaScript statements are the instructions that tells the browser to perform specific actions. Control statements are also instructions and they govern the flow of control in a program. So let's take a look at control statements with the help of an example. Let's suppose we have a piece of code that has n number of statements. Here, let's say we have this code and so the conventional workflow will be it will first execute the first statement, then second, then third and so on till statement n, right? So this is the basic flow, right? From statement 1 till statement n and it will execute each statement in between. However, in real world, the scenario is different. Like we don't write the code in same manner every time. For example, let's suppose you are in line 5 and you want to print this line 10 times. So what should you do? You can write this line 10 times or you can copy paste it, right? Okay, let's forget about 10 times. Let's suppose you have to use this code or we can say let's suppose you have to print this statement 100 times. Doing this like copy pasting it for 100 times or writing this statement for 100 times that's useless and unnecessary right so that's where control statements comes into picture we'll discuss them in a while let's assume another situation this time you want to make a choice based on certain conditions you can use conditional operators but then it has limitations right to tackle this problem we have control statements in javascript so these are the very basic reasons why we need control statements for performing a certain activity. Like if we want to perform a certain activity n number of times or if you want to make a certain decision making kind of scenarios in your program, that's where we need control statements in JavaScript. In JavaScript, we have two different types of control statements depending upon what action we are performing. So we have the conditional control statements and we have the iterative or we can say looping control statements. Talking about conditional statements, as the name suggests, we use conditional statements when we have to make decisions based on conditions. When we have two choices or when we can say when we have two different conditions and we want to make choices accordingly. So that's where we use conditional statements. We have two different types of conditional statements, the if else statements and the switch case. Talking about the iterative statements, as the name suggests, if you want to perform any action more than once or maybe n number of times, instead of writing them again and again, we use loops. So loops are basically statements. We use loops to perform any activity n number of times with specific conditions. So in JavaScript, we have four different type of loops. We have for loop, while loop, do while loop and foreign loop. So the for loop, while loop and do while loop, you might have heard about them earlier because they are also present in other programming languages. But this foreign loop, this is a new type of loop present in JavaScript. We use foreign loop with objects. We'll go through objects in upcoming videos and of course we'll be looking at each of these control statements in detail will have a particular video for each of these topic. Now, let me introduce to you the break and the continue statement. They are not the types of control statements, but they do assist in other control statements. The break is used to exit a switch statement or loop. Like when used in a loop, it breaks the loop and continues executing the code after it. And on the other hand, the continue statement breaks a single iteration when used in a loop. When we use continue statement in a loop, it breaks a single iteration and it breaks the iteration only if the specified condition occurs and then it will continue with the next iteration in the loop. 
so we'll go through the programming concept of continue and break as well next upcoming videos so that's all for this video guys see you in the next one where i'll take you through the if else statement present in javascript and we'll go through the programming part as well so if this video helped you anyhow do like it comment your doubts below share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe simply good thank you